Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's really nice to see you all again. Hope everyone is safe and staying at home, even though the weather is so incredibly beautiful. Since the weather is beautiful, a new trend is coming back this summer, freckles. They're super, super cute. They give you that bronze look. You know, a lot of people get them when they start to tan. Some people are lucky enough to have them all year round, but some of us are not so lucky. And those people, just like me, look like this, absolutely nothing on there, need some freckles to look cute this season. And you know what? I got you. I've watched all the videos. I've watched all the techniques. We're going to test them out today and see which one cream contour, you know, eyeshadow, eyeliner really gives you that natural looking freckle style that you're really going for. So I'm saving you some time. This is the only at home freckle video that you are ever going to need to watch ever. I got you. Okay. Stick around to the end of this video when I tell you my favorite freckle trick and the one that looks good on my skin. I know that different types of skin is going to have different results. And I'm going to let you know what I think. Okay, let's go. All right. So before we get started, I'm just going to show you the different tools we're going to be trying out here. Toothbrush method. We're going to try the spoolie method, which I honestly don't have high hopes for. We're going to try the just brow pencil method. There's one method where you can use a really thin brush. And I saw somebody use this big like stippling brush to like put the freckles on their face. So that's what we're going to use for tools. And then for equipment, we're going to be using some cream contour. We're going to be using some brown eyeshadow or brown contour powder doesn't really matter and some brow pomade I saw one girl use some brown paint sweetie I'm not gonna be using brown paint on my face what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically try it out wipe it off try it out wipe it off so you guys can see the full effect of each technique and you don't have to waste your foundation because I will okay I'm gonna do the toothbrush technique last because I really think it's gonna mess up my whole makeup situation that we have here so I'm gonna try something a little more low-key first Okay, so basically all the steps have the same method of like putting it on with the applicator and then kind of blending it out with your fingers to make like smaller freckles. So first we're going to try the brow pencil situation. Basically all you do is you just like put it on and twist and make some freckles. And then you kind of take your finger. Oh, wow, it just disappeared. You want to do some ones that are not perfect circles. Like if you do like little lines or something like that, just to make it look a little bit more natural. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's the first method of freckles. I literally just use this brow pencil and my finger. That's all I use. So as you can see, it's pretty faint. I think it's pretty cute. You know, I think it looks pretty good. I think this is a really like low key way to do them. It's super easy. Honestly, after a while, you just like start putting them all over your face. More of like a natural looking freckle. Honestly, I think this method is going to be hard to beat. I really like this. I'm going to take this off and then we're going to go on to method number two. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, I'll be back. I am back. No more freckles on my face. And again, I did not set this area. It's just fresh concealers. The next method we're going to be using is cream contour. I'm just using the Anastasia cream contour palette. And I'm kind of cheating. I'm going to be mixing two together just because I don't have high hopes for these methods. So we're going to be using a spoolie. You can use the end of an eyebrow pencil. You can use your eyelash brushes. You can even take this from Sephora. I don't care. And also this bobby pin. I guess it's like the end of the bobby pin makes some freckles but these freckles gonna be pretty damn big so we're just gonna see how this goes i have not tried this method at all i have no idea what to expect and it low-key hot so this is kind of melting the spoolie i feel like it's gonna come off in like lines you know what i'm saying i don't even know how to like like what dabbing it onto the palette picking some product up and dabbing it on my hand first these freck oh shoot these freckles are definitely going to be a lot darker because the cream contour I have is pretty dark. Oh no. Oh, it's honestly looking like tire marks on my face. I can see how it could like kind of work, but I feel like cream contour is literally meant to blend into your skin. So when you kind of like try and spread the dots around, it just makes my face look dirty. Like it just makes my face look muddy. Oh, maybe they mean the end of the spoolie. Oh! Oh my god this actually works a lot better okay the end of the spoolie is low-key a good situation I look like a dog okay i think i low-key kind of take back what i said about the spoolie it's okay i think if you want a more of like a bronze kind of freckle look this is definitely better but we're not finished i'm gonna use my body pin as well <laughs> so i'm just dipping it in the contour palette 
Oh, I'm so cute. Is it a filter? No, it's just me. Ah, uh, it's just me and my bobby pin. I think that's pretty much good enough. This is the final look for the cream contour spoolie slash bobby pin method so originally i was going like this and like i don't know what i was doing but now i have like a dirty undertone so i wouldn't recommend going like this on your face with the spoolie but the end of the spoolie is a good situation and it gives you like not a perfectly round freckle but like a realistic shape freckle so but these definitely give you a bigger freckle and since i'm using the cream contour a darker freckle i do find that these blend more into your skin so if you mess up you can just press it and it goes away i think if i was more tanned i would go for this look it's ready to do some farming because i've been out in the sun all day long it's different but i like it like almost just as much as the eyebrow pencil one you feel me it's just a different kind of style i'm gonna do something different i'll be right back Hello again. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna be using this little tiny brush. I actually didn't have a brush this tiny, so I low-key cut one really tiny. It's from the dollar store. The thing that the girl did is she either used a dip brow like pomade to kind of make freckles, which I think would work. Another girl, she got this brush wet and then she put it in some brown eyeshadow. So I think the pomade would do the same kind of thing as the cream that I just did. So I'm not gonna try that method, but I am gonna try the mixing it in brown eyeshadow. So I just got this a little bit wet and I just have like any this is an elf palette it's not very pigmented so we'll see how it goes but I'm basically just you know we're just gonna do the darkest one okay so she basically kind of made a paste ish thing and then she just put the freckles on oh god she also blended it like this whoa okay we have a big natural oh no we have two big natural freckles okay this one you need to be really gentle starting to look like a farmer over here imagine if you left it like this hi okay now we blend blend the freckles in okay these ones definitely aren't like transferring to a new freckle as well like when you blend it it kind of just stains your skin doesn't really move and the freckles are also a lot bigger okay so here's the finished look for this one this one was the fastest that i did but i honestly just kind of like gave up because i feel like this just was not the play i think the spots are too obvious they look more like sunspots than freckles i don't know i just like don't think it looks natural at all it looks like some Somebody just put a bunch of big spots on your face so i don't know if you're going for that big freckle look i don't know like you're being a farmer for halloween or something then maybe do it but i do not like this look i would never use this i'm gonna take this off i'm gonna do another one and we'll be right back okay guys we're back so this is the one i wanted to do last because i'm really scared i have the toothbrush method here this one is like the least controlled you don't know what's gonna happen basically what you're supposed to do is get the toothbrush wet and then kind of dip it in brown eyeshadow and then flick it kind of like this so like instead of the water going on you it would be like brown water and it would be like freckles so many girls did it and they looked like really cute so i'm just gonna get this wet but i just like i'm really scared to do this i just basically ruined my eyeshadow palette Okay, so I just got it wet and then I just dip like the very end kind of in the eyeshadow palette. But beware, my eyeshadow palette it looks like this now, so I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> or use it eyeshadow that you don't care about. I'm really scared. Hello? Where's the color? Sweetie, where's the pigment? Oh, okay. We're seeing some, we're seeing some here. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I think I need to get it like really into the eyeshadow look it's just like not a good situation here okay things we do for beauty i feel like i'm getting them in my eye like freckle eye hello <laughs> okay so basically i'm just kind of going like that just to the very end and trying to control it but it's hard Ooh, i think i'm gonna try and like blend it out kind of okay so i think that's pretty much good so these ones are really light it's really easy but it's a little bit harder to control uh it also says that if you go in back in with a dry toothbrush and eyeshadow and like stipple it on your face you can also get a look like that so i just kind of dry it like a little bit on my shirt all right i'm just gonna take the lightest one because i don't know what's gonna happen here tap it off get that excess powder off i can't really tell if this is doing anything i think that it kind of is 
Okay, I think this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. The one other thing that it said was you can try dipping your toothbrush in contour and then stippling it like that. But my contour is really dark, so I'm scared. It just looks like dirt. Yeah, this is not the play. Okay, I think it's because the toothbrush bristles are too close together. It basically just makes my skin look a little bit brown. The toothbrush was actually kind of nice, like when you just like sprayed it over your face because it was more of like, these are just where my freckles fall. Like there's no like plant to it, you know? But it's also less controlled. So if you do like to plan your freckles, sweetie, I would maybe not try the toothbrush method first. Kind of a risk, especially if you just did on doing all your makeup. This one is kind of the same as the cream contour result, I think. It actually doesn't look that bad once it's like blended in, but it also just kind of makes my skin look a little bit dirty. So I don't think that I would recommend the stippling of the toothbrush with dry eyeshadow or cream contour, but this actually low-key kind of worked. So I feel like you could try that if you wanted, but I really don't recommend doing this because it just hurts and it's not doing anyone any favors at this point. This is just one more thing that I wanted to try. It's like this like stippling brush, like a real brush, like fluffy powder bronzer or whatever. And this chick put it in cream contour and she was like, this is the best thing ever. My forehead, we're gonna use my forehead for this method. So using the cream contour, doo -dee -dee. Oh, this is kind of nice. Also kind of blended though. And you can't really see it. I don't know, I probably would not recommend using this brush. So here's the final look. It wasn't a good situation, I don't recommend this. Okay, so here is my final results for all the tips that we did today. If I were to create my perfect freckles out of all the tips that we did today, this is exactly what I would do. So I would do all my makeup, I would make it perfect, I would not set it, at least this area, with powder. And then the next thing I would do is I would get a toothbrush, if you have it, get it wet, dip it in a little bit of eyeshadow, old eyeshadow, and kind of just go across your face like this just a little bit to get some like natural looking freckles in there and then i would take the brow pencil that i use and i would just go in and just do little dots you know all the way on my face where i wanted them and kind of blend them in because this didn't like blend into your skin so it didn't make your skin look like dirty or anything like that it was just some clean really light freckles across your face so i would definitely do this if it was like a look but not like a look you know what i mean so this is my favorite method for sure don't forget to wear your face sunscreen you know just because you want freckles it doesn't mean you want wrinkles okay that is the look we are going for all right so i really hoped i helped you guys out today we tried all of the freckle methods i could freaking find i could freaking think of and those were the results so i hope that you guys find a method that works for you and seriously don't be afraid to try it it's super cute so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i put out fun little videos for you guys every single month monday and every single thursday so and you should definitely let me know what freckle method works for you in the comments because i would absolutely love to hear it and yeah well thanks for watching guys i'll see you later I'll see you next week bye